Now, regarding the Spike VGX Awards, um, I have a lot of pent-up anger and disgust with the way Spike has been handling this. And I'm going to, I really want to talk about it before uh, I have my family comes home. So I got enough time to freely talk about it without having to use a low voice. But I'm going to talk about it in a nice, calm way. Just so I can express how much this show fucking sucks! This show is awful! Okay, let me back up. The, no, okay, for years, I have said the Spike Video Game Awards have been crap. They've been garbage. They've been a lot of things, what is wrong with mass media's perception of what the video game industry is. And so, actually after last year, I thought it was terrible. But I, I thought I have seen the worst that this show can do. Like, literally, I thought I have seen the worst. And... I was not prepared for the, the first ever Spike VGX. I don't know what the fuck the X stands for. What is it? X stream? I don't know what it stands for. It's just, just stand X. I don't know. You tell me what the X stands for. So, and then I, I promised myself last year. I'm like, okay, this is terrible. This will be the last year I ever sit down and watch this show. And the fact that they actually... They, they mentioned this, they hit the reset button on this show, and they were like, oh, well, okay, we're going to try something different this year. We're actually going to have more games, we're not going to do any more commercials, it's going to be like a live stream thing. We're going to have three hours of gaming. We're going to celebrate the gamers. And I went, you know what? That might actually be cool. This might actually be a good show, because they're actually taking it away from the advertisements, taking it away from the big name celebrities like that probably have never even played a video game, and taking away from all this other crap, and I was like, okay, cool, fine, they're actually doing something. No! No, they didn't! It's still the same shit-ass show times a thousand! This show is the most wretched piece of horse-dropping ass testicles ever fucking broadcasted on fucking anything! Anything on live stream, I would rather watch... Like 50 really, really shitty Oscar shows in a row that ever have to sit through this fucking garbage ass bullshit that is the Spike VGX. This show is horrible. This show is wretched. This show is offensive. This show is wretched fucking bullshit. This show is horrible. All right, first of all, let's start with the biggest problem of this show the host. Now, now, Jeff Knightley, this guy, I've never really cared for Jeff Knightley. He's always very PR and bland for my taste. But you know what? He is goddamn, uh, like, as far as hosting goes, he is Billy Crystal plus Steve Martin put together compared to this other fucking uh, asswipe that they got named Joel McHale. Who the fuck is this Joel McHale? What, who is he? Hey, we're, like, based on what I saw on this show, they literally woke him up that morning and said, Hey, dude, you want to host, you want to host the Spike BGX? And the guy goes, I don't know what the fuck that is. It's a video game show. I don't play fucking video games. And it feels like Spike literally fucking beat him over the head, dragged him to this show, injected him full of fucking whale toxin or something for the tranquilizer and have him propped up there. Stuck, someone came in and stuck a fucking hand up his ass and made his mouth talk because this guy is one of the worst, maybe the single worst host I've ever seen. As much as I give shit to people like James Franco and Anne Hathaway and Ella DeGeneres and uh, Chris Rock and Jon Stewart for being like bad Oscar hosts, they are amazing compared to this guy. This guy is Joel McHale. He is one of the most unfunny, uninteresting, offensive motherfuckers ever put on a live stream program. This guy is horrible. He is horrible, horrible, horrible in all the ways I can possibly imagine. He is beyond putrid. Ew. And every time he opens his mouth, 
every fucking time this asshole opened his goddamn mouth, it was some really fucking stupid joke that literally hurt me. I felt like a pieces of my soul were literally fucking dying as I was sitting there and watching this program. And every time this guy opens his mouth, he like he makes jokes about how, oh, well, video games are stupid, or, oh, you're stupid, or, uh, I think he even made, like, a transgender joke that was out of fucking nowhere. He's rude to everyone on this show. It doesn't seem he has any interest in video games, like, whatso fucking ever. Like, literally, this guy, every time they, uh, they bring up a video game, he's all like, oh, yay, a video game. What the fuck can do? And this guy, has this guy ever played a video game in his life? This, this, I wanted to reach into, because I was watching this on my iTouch, I wanted to reach through my, my screen, smack the living fuck out of this guy. This guy is a dick. A big fucking dick. And, like, literally, he, he acts like he doesn't even care about being here. He acts like, oh, well, I'm getting paid to be here, so I'm just going to sit here and tell shitty-ass jokes and pretend to look interested in what's going on. Be a pro fucking professional! Be a professional! You're getting paid for this, you asshole! Do you know how many fucking, like, millions of people in the world would give up, like, a fate, like, one of their fingers to host this damn thing? And how, and I bet you, I bet you anyone in the world, any idiot you could pull off the street and stick in front of the camera would be a thousand times better than this fucking douchebag that they have hosting the fucking Spike VGX Awards! This guy is a dick! <sighs> and oh my god, where do I even go from here? Okay, first of all, and then they also have uh, people come in like, um... Oh my god, they have... <laughs> my stomach hurts because I'm yelling, I need to get out all this anger, I need to fucking do it! Uh, and, and I'm gonna thank myself later, as much as I'm in pain right now, and, like, you got guys like Mega64, Rooster Teeth, uh, PewDiePie, I don't give a fuck if I'm, if I'm mispronouncing his name, Mega64, oh, did I mention that already, <laughs> Mega64, and fucking, um, I'm scrolling through right now, just so, and Smosh, these guys are fucking horrible, they aren't funny, they aren't funny, why are you putting them on here? And, like, a big problem with this show, I, I thought it would actually be cool to have them, like, do a live stream thing only, where we'd strictly, strictly focus on them, not the audience member. I never thought I would say this. I miss the fucking audience, because it made me feel like I was actually at an award show that was important. There is no atmosphere, or excitement, or humor, or liveliness to the show, and it's just two fucking assholes sitting there and talking to people about video games in the most boring, stale, unimaginative ways possible. This is dull. It is duller than dull. These interviews suck. It's like the people that the people that made these games, they don't even want to be there. It's like Spike paid them. They're like, oh, well... It's like they tricked them into coming here, and it's like, oh, we're gonna give you this award for something cool. And they got there, and they're like, hey, dudes, you gotta come here for this interview. Wait, what? Ah! And here, let's talk about our video game. Uh... That's pretty much what these assholes are doing. They are, I, I swear to God, this is what I feel like. They are tricking these guys into being dragged here to this shit ass show so they can sit them down and, like, talk about it in the most bland, unimaginative ways possible. It's horrible! And also, these world premieres are shit. These world premieres are shit. Okay, most of them are shit. You got the stuff like Telltale Games, like, like even the stuff that's cool. We already knew most of this going into here. We already knew uh, Tomb Raider was going to be on next gen. We already knew um, Telltale Games was doing a, 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 a Game of Thrones shit. Hey, that's cool. We already knew that fucking, uh, the, the, I, I don't even remember what the t name of the title was, but the, the guys that did Do Joe Danger, it was already spoiled, like, a week ago that they were going to d release a new game during the Spike VGX. Where's the security for this information? Where is the security? You guys need better security. Where, for this being a world exclusive premiere, we already knew this weeks ago. It's anticlimactic in the worst way possible! And fucking hell, you've got these dickweeds coming out and they're like, oh, we're gonna give them 
World premiere trailers! Here's a new trailer! For, for even cool stuff like Destiny and a Titanfall. It's the same footage we've seen before, except with little things spliced into it. It's like, it's the Quantum Theory, like, look at an example of the Quantum Theory trailer that was released. You have, like, like a game that people want to see for the Xbox One. You want people to like, look at this game and go, wow, this game looks cool. It's the same crap we saw at E3, mixed in with seven seconds. At only seven, at the most seven seconds of new footage of somebody running and shooting. That's not world premiere footage. That's laziness. What the fuck, guys? What the bloody fuck is this bullshit? And I swear to God that most of these are awful. Most of these are horrible. That this whole thing is just crap. And let me, let me, okay, let me break, let me just give time to give a deep breath. Let me, let me give time to talk about something positive. I actually like the stuff that they showed for South Park, the Sig of Truth. That looks fucking cool. The fart attack, hilarious. That was the best part. They should have had Trey Parker and Matt Stone do this show. These guys are actually funny. Why aren't they hosting this? They're avid gamers. They're probably... More hardcore gamers than that Joel McHale dick, be dick bag. Why aren't they hosting this? I don't know. It, um, also, like Destiny, even though it was, most of it was recycled, looks cool. I love that Telltale Games, Telltale Games is doing four series now. In 2014, they're doing, of course, they're doing Walking Dead Season 2. They're, doing, they're continuing with The Wolf Among Us, which I fucking love. And they're doing a Borderlands episodic series, which is pretty badass. Teaming up with Gearbox for that. And they're doing the Game of Thrones series. Hey, that's awesome. I, I'm excited to see that. But the rest is just is crap. It's just crap, guys. It, it's just... What is this? Where... Where... Are, in The Witcher 3... I'm like, I gotta admit. I... I, there is like, right now as I'm looking at the clock, there's probably about an hour of this show left. I quit. I fucking just logged off right now. I don't give a shit if I don't see the next hour. Okay, because I can go on the internet like a day later and look up the world premiere trail. I can go on Twitter and read the comments right now that are hilarious. The people just, that know this show is shit. And they're making hilarious fucking tweets about it. That is way more entertaining than what's being on this show. Because this show is horrible! No one wants to see this crap. It's like, they still, oh my god, they still, what's sad about the Spike VGX, I thought this time, the Spike VGX, when it goes from VGAs to VGX, even though they switched one letter, they still haven't gotten out of this PR corporate bullcrap mentality of how gamers are all just geeks and nerds that sit in their parents' basements or their rooms, live at home with their parents, don't have social lives, eat hot Cheetos, like stuff their faces full of hot Cheetos. Like even Dick Bag, I'm not, I'm not gonna call him Joel McHale anymore. I'm gonna call him Dick Bag, Mr. Dick Bag. Mr. Dick Bag is talking about how, oh, well, look at you gamers out there with hot Cheetos encrusted into your fingers. Are we really, like, after all these years, of the game, we've been fighting for years, the game industry, to have us recognized as art in the mainstream, and we've achieved that. And th Mr. Dickbag is still stuck in that mentality of how, oh, well, gamers are just stupid geeks that live in their parents' basement. Oh, a hot Cheetos joke. <laughs> I'm so clever. No, Mr. Dickbag. You can go fuck yourself. You can go fuck yourself. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you and the... 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 The, the drug-induced uh, mentality you, you walked in with. And, out, like, these guys are just, oh, well, gamers are just whatevers. And granted, we're not back at that time at, during the Spike VGA Awards where I'm just going to call it the VGAs because I'm tired of saying VGX. This show hasn't earned the right to be called something different. It's still the Spike VGAs to me, minus an audience and actual loud applause and excitement. Except like every time something is announced on this show now, you have that one douchebag in the back going, yeah, woo! Give that guy a medal. He's the most enthusiasm this show fucking has. Um, but I fucking can't stand this show. 
and I still got, like, if I wanted to, there's still an hour left to watch a bit. I choose not to. I am done with this program. I am done with the VGX. This show had every opportunity to start new, and start afresh, and do something cool. Represent video games on mainstream, like, TV. I know this isn't on TV, but it's like everywhere now. They're trying to be like this mainstream thing in the US television. And it sucks ass. It sucks ass. Do you, I'm addressing Spike. If anybody from Spike is listening to this right now, I'm addressing you. Do you know what a hurtful image your bullshit ass show is sending out right now? That gamers are just lazy fucks that don't have lives that just sit in front of their computers or their TVs, jerk off and, and fucking stuff their faces full of food and get fat and then just like cycle repeat. Do you have any idea how hurtful your image is right now? Have you even gone online and looked at like the Twitter feeds that's going, I hate to keep bringing up the Twitter thing, but it's, it's true. If you are watching the show right now and are bored to death, Go on Twitter right now, search up the hashtag VGX. And this show will probably be done by the time I put, it, put up this video. But go on right now on Twitter and look up hashtag VGX. Even if this show is over, go look up it right now. There are thousands of tweets out right now damning this show, saying what a big piece of shit waste of time it is. What an awful host Jeff M Mr. Dickbag is. Sorry, I almost called him by his real name, but he hasn't earned that respect from me, um, and more, and like, those guys, they are making hilarious jokes about this show, I guarantee you, if you're watching this show, go on Twitter right now and look up, uh, hashtag VGX, you'll see a thousand more tw uh, tweets that you can read while listening to this horse crap, that'll make this horse crap even more tolerable to listen through, all right, if, if you want to stick past, like, because I bailed, the people that are still watching this and saying they hate it, I salute you. The guys that want to stick it through to the end because, like, hey, you, they want to see the cool shit. You know what? You guys deserve a medal or something. You guys deserve a medal for tolerance and stamina. Mental stamina. I couldn't take this show any longer. I have sat through, through three-plus-hour movies that I've hated. Okay? And I was able to get through those just fine without wanting to, like, hang myself. I couldn't last two... I couldn't last another hour of this bullshit. Why? Because I find it... I find this show just insulting as a gamer. As a, as a lifelong gamer, I find this program insulting. It's just mind-numbing. This is not what we want to see from VG... And the humor... The humor, I swear to God, and I know I'm not ranting right now because I've scratched my throat just yelling like a fucking maniac, but it's true, I am just mad. I am mad as hell, <laughs> hell at this show. Uh, <coughs> and this is garbage. This is literally like the worst award quote. That's another thing. They're barely handing out any awards. They've handed out maybe three over the net over the last two hours. Are you fucking kidding me, guys? Are you shitting me? Three awards over two hours. No, whatever. I'm done with this show. I'm done with anything. I'm not gonna give any. Uh, this was the last chance I was giving to Spike to really pull themselves out of this giant hole they've dug themselves in with the Spike VGAs over the years. And it seemed like they were sort of climbing their way back up a little bit by, by rebranding this and redoing this whole format and getting like new, new ideas in there. But you still fucked up. You slipped and you fell back into that hole deeper than you have ever fucking fallen before. There is no way you're going to be able to climb yourself out of this now. You have officially lost my viewership of this show. I am done with the Spike VGAs. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not going to call it the Spike VGX. I'm not going to call it that. Why should I? What have they done for me in the past two hours that worthy that makes it worthy of not being associated with the Spike VGAs besides being low budget and more in with the gamers, which is total bullshit, by the way. 
whatever. I'm fucking, I'm done with this show. I'm done with, with uh, anything that has to do with Spike and video games. I don't give a shit anymore. I think this show is the worst award show in the history of man. And I have sat through, th through some shit-ass award shows. This is the worst I have ever seen in my life. And it, it just baffles me. It really just baffles me how low th this program just got. And I just want to give a special, you know, big ass middle finger to Joel McHale. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Mr. Dickbag. Mr. Hardcore. I don't give a fuck about gaming. Dickbag. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck your laziness, fuck your humor, fuck your jokes, fuck whoever wrote jokes for you, fuck your personality, fuck your indifference towards this show, fuck your rudeness, fuck your offensive content, fuck your shallow ass thought process throughout this whole fucking bullshit show. Fuck you! And a big fuck you to Spike 2013 Spike VGA Awards. Kiss my motherfucking gaming ass, you sack of shit. <sighs> there. Oh, I've gotten out all my anger. I feel much better now. I'm going to go, you know, gargle some warm salt water so I can, you know, not get a throat ache, not get a sore throat tomorrow morning. And I'm going to go do something more productive with my time. Like... Game. Do actual video gaming instead of watching this fucking piece of shit show. I'm done. I'm done. Anyway. Yeah. I'm done. Fuck this show.